matematik uh, dari universiti yang sama Universiti Putra Malaysia Sendang dan juga uh, dan Bachelor of Science with honors uh, matematik with statistik daripada Universiti University Selangor tajuk pembentangan beliau pada petang ini uh, Riley Bernard Convection in Nanofluid Layers Situated in a rotating anisotropic porous medium with feedback control and internal heat source. Untuk mengetahui dengan lebih lanjut berkenaan pemandangan beliau, tanpa membawa masa saya mempersilakan Dr. Izati Halid, Dr. Izati Halida Halid untuk membuat pemandangan. Dipersilakan, Dr. Izati. Uh, terima kasih kepada Dr. Muhammad Agos. Okay, let me share screen first. Okay, can you see my slide? Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Okay, alright. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to everyone. Um, my name is Dr. Izati Khalida Khalid. Uh, the title of my presentation today is uh, really been a convection. Okay, uh, this is a convection and then uh, in nanofluid layer saturated in a rotating anisotropic porous medium with feedback control. This is the effect and internal heat source. So we will have uh, this one and two and three. So we have three effects on this really been a convection and nanofluids. Um, next, we will, we, we will discuss about what is a really been a convection and uh, this is a nanofluids. Okay. All right. Okay, this is the outlines. Okay, uh, number one, the introduction. The second, the second is the literature review. The third uh, is the methodology, results and discussion, conclusion, and lastly is the references. Okay, so this is number one, the introduction. All right. Okay, we discuss about what is uh, mean, what is meant by this convection. Okay, as you can see, we have here figure one. Uh, this is a figure about Rayleigh Banner convection. These uh, types of convection is by buoyancy force. Okay, the blue here is um, is the cool fluids, and the heated fluid here is in the color red. Okay, red. So here is in the middle, and this is in the cool uh, fluid, and here is the heated fluids. Okay. The lighter heated fluids move from the heated below to the cool above, meaning that the lighter heated. So the fluid here, the heated fluids here becomes more lighter because uh, it carries less density, okay? Because due to this um, heat transfer, okay? We have the here, a uh, heat source here, actually. We have heat, heat source uh, below this, um, this uh, I mean, this horizontal plane. And this point, uh, this process continuous. All right. Okay. We uh, we discuss about a bit uh, a heat transfer. A heat transfer arises actually due to temperature difference within the fluid systems. Okay. Uh, the stability of convection still remain in horizontal fluids layer. Okay, they, this remain uh, stable until the instability arises when the temperature gradient, okay, temperature gradient exceeds certain critical values. Okay, there are two types of convection. Okay, the first one, this is the first one. Okay, the convection caused uh, by buoyancy. Okay, that is what I studied now. Okay, I study now. The Rayleigh Banner convection. And this is the second one. This is uh, for convection caused by surface tension, okay, um, or we can call as a Marangoni convection. Okay, nanofluids, okay, all right. So, this nanofluids, actually, these terms was firstly proposed by Choi in 1995. And actually, nanofluids is types of engineered fluids. Uh, it, it is a mixture of a combination uh, of nano size particles okay nano size particles we have here and the base fluid okay nano size particles here um, examples i give you some examples of nanoparticles that uh, usually researchers use okay to conduct any experimental re uh, research uh, uh, such as first the oxide ceramic oxide ceramic 
um, metals, okay, alum, aluminum, aluminium and copper. This one is aluminium, al aluminum oxide. This is copper oxide. And this is metal carbides, non-metals such as graphite, carbon and tubes and base fluids okay this one is for base fluids that usually we use to mix with the nanoparticles uh, sometimes uh, the researchers use water or other types of fluids oil and other types of lubricants ethylene and other types of coolants and biofluids okay what is biofluids biofluids is actually human body fluids uh, such as um, amniotic fluid or um, um, something like that, right? And the, the, the speciality why uh, we are interested, many researchers interested using this nanofluids because uh, it has high specific surface area, meaning that all the nanoparticles inside the, the nanofluids, okay, plays an important role to uh, transfer more heat, okay? There, therefore, more heat transfers surfaces between the particles and the fluids. Okay, this one. The second one is a high dispersion uh, stability. Here, meaning that uh, dispersion behavior, okay, is uh, different for every particles. Okay, it depends on what of nanoparticles you use. Okay, different nanoparticles have different dispersion stability. But this uh, dispersion stability is much better than any other um, materials. Okay. Uh, promote mi miniaturization, meaning that uh, it can reduce particles clogging, okay? Um, okay, all right. Uh, by reducing the particle cloggings as compared to any conventional slurries, okay, this is uh, important for um, engineering, uh, in engineering field, okay? Uh, types of slurry, uh, we can say like a watery mixture or suspension of ins with a insoluble water. And also, these nanoparticles uh, can be adjusted, okay? Has adjustable properties to suit different applications. All right, uh, next one is porous medium. So we won't talk about this porous medium. What is porous medium? So this is the definition of the porous medium. It is a solid with matrix, okay, matrix permitted by an interconnected network of pores filled with fluids. Okay, as you can see here, figure two, uh, we have uh, three examples of porous medium. So this is A, rocks, B, foams, and C, soils. Okay, this is types of examples of porous medium. Okay, uh, the, so the porosity, um, uh, the, the, the notation that we use for porosity is uh, this this porosity element, okay? Frac is the fraction of the total volume of the medium occupied by void space. Okay, this is that we want in to investigate. Okay, and then this permeability, the notation is K with the symbol of a curl. This uh, is the ability of porous materials to transmit fluids. Okay. Okay, right. So now we go to this uh, literature review. For literature review, okay, this literature review, um, I only highlighted the previous investigations that received much attention for their contribution that uh, associated to my research. Okay, in this section, um, I revised the important works associated to my research problems in brief. Okay, first, um, nanofluids, the model by Buongiorno. Okay, this nanofluid, this one, in 2006. And then this um, research by Bong Yorno was extended by uh, Zoe in 2008. Okay, I uh, have two papers. Uh, Zoe published two papers in 2008 for the nanofluids using linear stability analysis. Actually, this linear stability is the method that I use. Okay, I will discuss later. Okay, when I narrowed down uh, more and I found that Neil and Kuznetsov in 2010 and 2009, okay, uh, they, they studied nanofluids in porous media and this one is only for nanofluids and and then uh, the, this research was extended by Yadav in 2012, Yadav 2014, Umavati and Mohit 2016, Yadav. Okay, these are uh, the researchers that invest uh, that extended 
uh, all the research. In a stationary mode, we have here oscillatory mode. And this one is a stationary mode in nanofluid. Okay, both here, stationary and oscillatory here is for uh, porous media. In porous media, this one is only on nanofluids only. Okay, so I compare both uh, model. Okay, and then uh, we narrow it down. We narrow it down more. And this one is non porous nanofluids model. Darcy Brinkman. Okay, they use the Darcy Brinkman model. This one, Uma Vati use Maxwell model non nanofluids. And for Yadav here. Uh, they extend uh, by using specific nanoparticles, okay? They use alumina and copper, okay? But in my research, I'm not specific any nanoparticles. I just use the regular um, nanofluids, all right? And Nir and Kuznetsov adjust for nanofluids model, okay? All the researchers here um, use the Galakin technique, okay, by Finlayson that um that was in 1972 okay so this is the the highlighted of the related um researchers to my study okay so now uh, the methodology okay this is the steps that okay that i use that we use we usually use to okay this one eh? okay the first step, actually we start with a with um with a bare partial differential equation actually this partial differential equation um obtained um by following a uh, previous uh, researchers okay okay you will see later the governing equation here and then um the process continues uh we need to do this first okay the linear stability analysis first okay actually this linear stability uh theory is to derive the basis of linearized equation so all the i mean all the partial differential equation will go through this linear stability analysis first then they will go into this normal mode technique okay after that we will obtain this one, the ordinary differential equation. Uh, this one is the ODE, okay? And from this ODE, with the boundary conditions, okay, we will use this Galerkin technique. So this is three and here is four. And then using the maple, okay, maple computation uh, to extract, okay? We will extract the, the eigenvalue solution. Um, that is called as Darcy Rayleigh number. Okay, Darcy Rayleigh number is a parameter that that we will use to um, to, to investigate uh, the onset of convection. What what uh, times the convection occur? Okay, later I will explain. And then after this number five here, we will have the numerical number six. Okay, in this numerical results, we will obtain the tables and as well as uh, figures number eight. So this tables is comparison. Okay, comparison, comparisons. Okay, with with other researchers. Okay, to check whether we our results are valid or not. All right. Okay, this is just for brief about the methodology. So we go more deep on the methodology. Okay, we consider a horizontal, okay, horizontal rotating nanofluid layer. So this one, please uh, look at this figure number three. So we have the diagram. This is a physical configuration and coordinate system. You have here three axes that is X. We have here Y and we have Z. And this, uh, Z axis rotates, okay, rotates because we have the, um, here, okay, we have the rotation, okay, rotation that is equals to this omega, omega symbol, okay, the omega, okay, and uh, that is the Taylor Vardas number, Taylor Vardas, so I did not ask parameter Taylor Vardas, so we will investigate the effect of rotation as well in this system, okay, inside here we will have, this one is the upper, upper boundary layer and below the is the lower okay lower boundary layer okay what is mean by lower lower and upper okay and lower here we will put um heat okay so this area will become heated from below okay will be heated from below and here um as you can see the circles uh, red circles here this one 
Okay, this is actually um, just a physical configuration for a porous. Okay, just I, I just want to show you that it's a porous medium. Okay, we can use any types of uh, porous as, such as a soil. So let's say this is a soil, okay, a tanah. Okay, tanah. Eh? And this is a nanofluid. In this, actually, this one occupied, uh, in the system, occupied with the soil. Just I just want to show this porous, and this one is nanofluid. Okay, we have both, both uh, materials here. There is porous and juga and and as well as nanofluids and juga nanofluids layer. All right. Um. Okay. The depth. This one is the depth. Uh, denoted as okay. Can use BL. L. Eh? This is the depth. Kedalaman. Uh, of the fluid. Okay, from zero until L, and then okay, okay. So let's go here. Lower boundary exact sama dengan uh, z equals to zero. Okay, z equals to zero right here. So this is at lower boundary, the heated, the heated layer, horizontal heated layer here. So here we have free, we have rigid and rigid. So and the upper boundary at L. Okay, here L. So see here, uh, here, right here. This is the upper boundary we have here. This is uh, the boundary that we want to investigate. That will be investigated is a uh, free, free. Okay, tambah. Free, free. Maksudnya, the meaning that the lower is free, the upper is free, and the lower is rigid. Upper free, and the lower is rigid, and upper is rigid. Okay. All right, so this is just for remarks for your un, for your understanding. Okay, we developed a model representation of fluid motion in mathematical form. It must be kept in mind that these models are merely approximations of the actual flow situation. Then, an understanding of the limitations and proper use of the equations is essential. And then uh, we have carefully derived, okay, we have carefully derived these mathematical models and emphasizing their physical meaning. All right, so let's go to the next slide. Okay, so now we, we, have, we have two tables here. Okay, tables on uh, the left, this one. And here is, I mean, not table, this is like a square. So this is now uh, one and then here is the square number two. Okay, in number one um, is actually in PDE mode. We not, uh, uh, we not done any process of methodology. This is the original of partial differential equation. And number two here is the ODE, okay? And the step here, this we have steps, okay? Many steps here actually, we will discuss later. All right, so following uh, this paper, Neil and Kuznetsov, 2009, and Yadav, 2012, okay? The governing equation under the, under the overback bosinis are, okay, so this is uh, equation number one. Equation number one is called as continuity equation. Equation number two is a momentum. Equation number three is energy, and number four adalah is the equation that is um wajib wajib ada. This is for nanofluids. Okay, this is for nanofluids. So for nanoparticles. All right. Uh, as you can see here in momentum equation, we have this um parameter. Okay, actually this is the rotation that we include in this uh, momentum. Okay, and the rest is below, and the rest. Yang lain -lain, okay, belongs to momentum and uh, accept this rotation. And energy equation we have here, this one is the internal heat. Okay, this is the parameter ta, Taylor Vadas. This one is Q, okay, that we will investigate the parameter. So, and uh, yang, yang, the rest um, belongs to energy equation. And no change on nanoparticles equations. Okay, this follows the Niels and Kuznetsov. Okay, and this one is the ODE of uh, my research. Okay, I will discuss how we will uh, we obtain this equation. Okay, we have one, two, and three. Okay, from this four. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, this one is linear stability analysis. Okay, it starts with uh, the governing uh, partial differential equation. Okay, then we proceed for linear stability analysis first before normal modes. Okay, uh, this one, equation 1 until 4 are non-dimensionalized. Oh, ini dalam ni, all inside this slide, 
okay, is belongs to linear stability analysis process. Okay, so equation one until four are non-dimensionalized using definition below. So e equation, uh, all equation definition number five. Okay, we have uh, this one. Uh, this is a pressure, time, and this is a rotation. It is for nanoparticles, and this is for temperature. Okay, and and pressure. Okay, all of these will be used. Okay, meaning that we will substitute into the no, uh, into the um, equation number one. Eh? Number one, eh? one until four. Okay, that steps. That was the first. That is the first step, and then we will obtain this non-dimensionalized equation. So number six, number nine. Okay, then the superimposed perturbation will be used, and to obtain equation number eleven until fourteen. Okay, the superimposed uh, perturbation is used and obtain equation number eleven until fourteen. Okay, this is all is under the linear stability analysis. Alright, then we go to the normal mode technique. Okay, uh, in normal mode technique, we have here W belongs to velocity. This is theta, temperature. This is phi belongs to nanoparticles, okay, because we are doing uh, nanofluids, okay, so we have nanoparticles. Use this normal mode techniques, okay, there are a few steps uh, of the derivation, um, and then we'll substitute it into the previous equation from 11 until 14, okay? 11 until 14, we proceed to do this normal mode technique, number 15, and we will obtain number 16 and 18. So, this is our ODE, okay? Finally, we have our ODE. Okay, from here, we need to solve and we need to extract. So, we have parameter here. We have Taylor number. We have, uh, this one is Z. Z is belong to uh, anisotropic, anisotropic, Parameters, okay. This um, this is R. Actually, this is R D. This is Darcy real number. We have R N nano fluids real number. We have Q here. This is the parameter of Q. We have N B L N and N A. Okay, I think that's all. Itu yang that's uh the are uh, the parameters that we want to investigate. These parameters um will will um will be adjusted okay according to our um our results uh what yang apa yang kita nak okay okay uh and check the stability of the of the system of my system the system of the title my title lah okay this is boundary condition okay uh here we will have k since k is the feedback control so it only um situated at the boundary conditions okay we don't put inside this equation all right and uh, the 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 second last is galerkin technique okay galerkin technique will be used to obtain the system of linear homogeneous algebra equation okay um i just want to explain a little about this one so equation number 20 you you can see that we have a w b data and c and this one is uh phi okay so w here actually belongs to this Okay, and A is actually these terms, all these terms actually. So we will write into this form, kita susun. We, we arrange the parameter accordingly. Okay, if W start with W and then data and then phi. So that we can form into the determinant form. We can transform into the determinant. So from this determinant, uh, we will use the maple. Okay, we will use the maple for the next computations to get the result to extract the uh, Darcy Rayleigh number. Okay, this is the maple computation. Um, so this is the de determinant. Okay, this one uh, from the ma my maple. I, I, I copy here uh, uh, and paste, I copy and paste here. So um, this is the A, okay, what I, I just explain a a g i b g i c g i okay so uh, all are referring to w this one is theta and this one is phi lah okay phi so must equal, follow the uh, arrangement okay if you um uh, it's up to you okay, if you want to put data first okay w or phi or or maybe start with phi okay just make sure all phi okay so um 
here we have a, a parameter this one one e this number one is explained here below eh? uh, one until number five so uh, because it's too long so i put um as a substitution okay okay then we finish that okay what we want to investigate actually here um is all the parameters inside this determinant by using the maple okay let me erase first okay right so we want to extract this rd we want to check and then uh, and then we want to investigate the Taylor number this one refer to the rotation effect this one is q q is the internal heat generation that we want to investigate whether um and then we have our n i and b and a and also this epsilon one two three four five six seven so all these seven parameters will be investigated to check whether these parameters are useful or not to to maintain the stability um, of our system. Okay, my title, the, the title of my the, the Rayleigh-Bena convection with the anisotropic. Okay, all right. Uh, this is the results and discussion. Okay, um, okay, this is table com comparison. Okay, in this table comparison, we compare our result. Okay, the test computations have been performed. Okay, table sh uh, table two shows uh, the comparison of Darcy Rayleigh number. Okay, this one this is called as Darcy Rayleigh number in various value of Q. Q is this one. Okay, uh, it's called as internal heat uh, source. Okay, in rigid rigid boundary condition. Rigid rigid meaning that yang uh, the three exist to this is x, y, z, zero, this one, okay, this one rigid, and below rigid, of course. Okay, so we want to check our value of Q, internal heat source, okay, by varying the, the, the values of Q. So, we compare with Cha Chiang, okay, Cha Chiang uh, is in 1994, okay, and then Yadav, 2012, and this is my case, my my computation, my test computation. Okay, so Q0, 1, 2, 10, 20. This value was, uh, these values were chosen by Cha Chiang, okay? So, Yadav follow and I follow. All right, so, as you can see, the the values is the values okay are in a good agreements. Okay, you can see it. Eh? All right. Only different slight difference on after the the point there. Uh, okay. So we uh, we confident that our our re our research um, our investigations are almost uh, um, are valid. All right. And then this one is num on uh, table three. This one is for rigid free. Okay, rigid free situation is when we have rigid below and here open, open. We don't have any rigid item on the tops. It's free, okay, free. So this is spinning, okay. This is Z, Z this is X, this is uh, Y, okay. So we compare for different boundary condition. Okay, this one is for rigid free. So with the same researchers, Cha Chiang and Yadav. Okay, for the values of internal heat generation differs for the 0, 1, 2, 10, 20. So the uh the results are in a very good uh, agreements. All right. Okay, this one is rigid rigid. And this one is rigid free. And only for uh, I only show for the rigid rigid and rigid free for free free um okay just to to explain to you what is the meaning by free free okay this one xyz okay actually free free is when you have open uh, at the upper boundary and as well as at the lower boundary but this is just for a theoretical study because the actual study we cannot uh proceed experiment experiment like this because we cannot have open because the water will go down by gravity so this is just for a theoretical study only okay uh, let's go to the figures figures okay so we have six figures uh, to be explained so this is figure number four 
This is a Darcy Rayleigh really number. This one is the x axis and no y axis. Wait. Okay. Okay, this one is the y axis. This one is the wave number. So R, R D versus A wave number. Okay, uh, in it, this one is using maple. Okay. And then as you can see here, I just want to show you slowly what I'm doing. So you can see here the epsilon 0 0.9. And here we have epsilon 0 0.1. Okay, so the difference value that uh, that has been chosen for the epsilon. Okay, by comparing the epsilon, you can see that um, when you, we increase uh, the, the bigger value of epsilon, the higher value of RD, meaning that the onset of conversion occur uh, at very at very high value of a uh, Darcy Rayleigh really number. Okay, I want to try to explain. Um, actually, it's like this. Okay, maybe here. Just to give you. Um, understanding a bit about this okay let's say you have here this is um rd right rd okay rd uh, rd need uh to to measure the onset of convection the the, the the check the check when the convection occur uh if bawah meaning that it the convection occur very fast very uh the onset say to this the onset of convection okay occur occur very fast maksudnya cepat very fast and here if uh, let's say here we give value let's say 100 and here maybe um, a 6 500 so it if the graph uh, here and here okay so say this is b let's say so this is a Okay, the curve, we have two curves here, curve A and B. Uh, we want to compare uh, what is about the convection, right? Okay, so at B, the convection occurs at the value of RD equals to 100. RD equals to 100, meaning that uh, the onset of convection occurs very fast at value of 100. But for the curve A, uh, the onset of convection occurs at RD equals to 500. So the convection is delayed. Delayed, okay? So this one is a zero. So meaning that um, if kita panaskan sesuatu and then pada 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 nombor lima, dia dah panas sangat-sangat. Meaning that convection tu berlaku cepat. Uh, itu yang kita tak nak. That's what we don't want. So we want it to be delayed. Okay, uh, selagi dia tinggi, uh, meaning that uh, the onset of convection is delayed. Uh, much better. So much stable. So semakin tinggi RD, much stable lah much stable uh, okay okay i hope you understand uh, okay so this one is figure number six oh no no forget uh see, see figure number four okay we don't discuss about the parameter yet okay in the system in this graph i include the rigid 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 free okay um wait Okay, I include the rigid, rigid, rigid free and free free. So we have three types of boundary condition inside this. So the first one is for epsilon equals to 0 0.1. Okay, this one is the porosity. Okay, meaning that when you add porous medium inside your system, you can delay your convection, meaning that that is a very good. Okay, that is good for your system. So as compared to uh, epsilon equals to 0 0.1, the convection occur very fast, okay, here. And uh, epsilon for 0 0.9, the convection uh, delayed, okay, delayed. Dia berlaku lambat. Ini berlaku cepat, okay, convection cepat. And then the chosen uh, values for this Taylor Vadas ni, uh, this, the, for rotation parameters, Taylor Vadas, we chose for 700 and 750. Okay, by following the previous researchers. Okay. All right. So let's read here. Marginal stability curve shifts upward. Okay, shift upwards is about this uh, ta. This ta. Eh? So semuanya menaik. Okay, maksudnya dia semakin naik. The convection is delayed and the system is stabilized. 
Okay. And then, why? 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 Why we... This is just for the meaning, uh, the reason why uh, we put the Taylor Vadas and it stabilized. So, because by increasing your our Taylor Vadas indicates that the Coriolis force, the rotation due to the rotation, inhibit the convection where the nanofluids move the hori to the horizontal plane with higher velocity. Okay, you can see that the rotation movements is like this, right? Uh, from left to right. But um, but the the offset of convection yang saya explain that I explained previously heated from below meaning that the convection occur here so when we have this Taylor number the rotation it will um helps to stabilize dia akan mengucap macam mana it will make the system to be chaos and the heat transfer uh okay the heat transfer is um inhibited inhibited okay slowly okay that is the meaning of rotation so rotation is good in this system so let's look on the figure number five we have k k is for feedback control okay feedback control effect um is like the actuators that will detect we have a sensors this is just a theory okay we have the sensors in the system that detect the disturbances okay um and direct the actuators to suppress the convection so this one is direct application of feedback control okay meaning that uh, this feedback control key, same effect with Televadas. Uh, may, uh, uh, just this uh, feedback control use the sensors, but this uh, Televadas is the rotation. Okay, and with the porous, we have um, 0 0.9 and 0 0.1. Okay, I'll jump. Wait, by comparing this as you can see from uh, for epsilon here 0 0.9 here is actually this two line is referring to the rigid rigid okay and dash dash line here okay this two we have two eh? each each uh, lower boundaries we have two um for 15 and 20 okay so this one is for the rigid free and the dash dot here is for free free Okay, let's look the in the next figure, figure six. So this one is for the internal heat source. So when we add internal heat source, so the graph going down, shift downwards, okay? The convection is advanced and the system is destabilized. So why we put this Q inside our system just to show when we have um, heat transfer and then we add this heat source, we can stabilize the system by using our stabilization parameters such as Taylor, Taylor number the, as previously discussed and the feedback control. Okay, so this one, this um, parameter used to destabilize the system. Okay, um, increase in Q, uh, internal heat source, cause a largest deviation, causes a large, large deviation in temperature. So the temperature will increase and the heat transfer become more, much more faster. Okay, that is why its name is internal heat source. Mm. And then this one is number figure seven. This one is the anisotropic parameter. This one is called as zeta, name denoted as thermal anisotropy parameter. Okay, um, for anisotropy, we have two anisotropic parameters. We have um, zeta and z. Z is this one, okay? That we'll discuss after this. Both effects uh, are found. Both effects are found to to stabilize the system. Okay, same effect as feedback control, porosity, and data number. Okay, increase in uh, z leads to thermal conductivity in x direction increases and decreases in z direction. So, meaning in X direction, maksudnya thermal conductivity pada melintang, horizontal part. On horizontal and decreases pada Z direction. Okay, the Z direction lah yang akan menyebabkan convection sebenarnya. So, this one. So, the, the decrease pada um, part, the para, no, the, the Z axis. Okay, tapi dia increase pada horizontal line. Okay, so that's why the effect dia lebih kurang macam just approximate like uh, Televadas. 
Okay, this one is a figure number eight. Figure number eight we have here. Uh, okay, so this one I use uh, Excel to go to get this this graph. So this is we use critical density number with um uh, versus with this thermal anisotropic parameter. We know that both effects are to stabilize the system. So uh, no wonder the graph going up. Okay, uh, meaning that it shows a uh, very positive results. Okay, um, stabilize the system. And for this one, we have nanofluids, uh, Lewis number, LN, and Taylor Vidas. So we want to compare this both effects. This one uh, positive, meaning that this stabilized system, this effect of, uh, we already know that this effect stabilized the system, but this effect is to destabilize negative. So the destabilize. So the graph will going down due to this nanofluid Lewis number. But, um, this one is just to um, to show you that although we have this parameter, nanofluid Lewis number, that um, destabilize the system, but when we use our, when we include our stabilizers apa, parameter like the Levidas, feedback control, porosity, we can um, help to stabilize the system. Okay, um, this is the conclusion. Um, so I put here, this one is the effect until stabilized system. This one, all the effect about this stabilized system. Okay, this one destabilized. This one is to stabilize. And this one is about the lower, lower upper X, Y, Z tu lah. Uh, up, lower upper boundary condition. So we, uh, kita, you can see that the feedback control, tell us about this number porosity, mechanical, anisotropy parameter, this one. Uh, this one is called as um, Z, okay. And the thermal anisotropic parameter, zeta, stabilize the nanofluid layer system when their values are increased. Uh, this one is internal heat source, Q. This one, modified diffusivity ratio, and A. Nanofluid series number, and N. Nanoparticles concentration, Darcy, real number, Rn destabilize the nanofluid layer system when their values are increased. And this is the last one. The most stable system is when both lower upper boundary conditions are rigid, meaning that this one is rigid, rigid. And least stable is when both lower upper boundary conditions free are free. So this is free and free. Okay. Um, references, okay, this is um, the few references that that I use okay, in this slide, okay, um, um, 12, 12 authors, okay, from these 12 journals. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, that's all from me. Any questions? Okay, terima kasih Dr. Idati Halida uh, di atas pembentangan yang sangat menarik. Jadi sekarang sesi soal jawab, uh, saya buka uh, untuk para pencerahan bertanya soalan atau mohon pencerahan dan sebagainya uh, dipersilakan kepada peserta yang mengikuti kolokium ini melalui saluran YouTube boleh bertanya soalan melalui chatting box dan jika bertugas akan membantu untuk menyampaikan soalan tersebut uh, dipersilakan jika ada soalan Pada pesyarah yang uh, dalam bidang yang sama mungkin boleh bertanya soalan uh, Dr. Zaimah mungkin kalau ada soalan Dr. Zaimah saya rasa Dr. Sazana pun mungkin Dr. Sazana kalau ada soalan boleh bertanya bidang fluid dynamic ya eh? Ya. Oh, Dr. Zaimah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon to 
to, to the rest. Okay, um, Assalamualaikum Dr. Izzati ya. Just to make you tak pernah jumpa pun langsung Dr. Izzati ni. Uh, nanti hari Kamis next week. Ah, InsyaAllah, insyaAllah. <laughs> okay, okay. Your research is uh, very interesting to me. Um, mm. it's, a, it's about the convection, right? Yes. The convection. And what are the things that Actually, your presentation, uh, I'm quite, I'm quite uh, clear what uh, what you deliver. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know. How, I don't. I don't know how to like what. Uh, mm -hmm. because everything is quite clear to me. Okay. So it's okay now. Alright. Thank you, Doctor Fazima. Okay. Thank you, Doctor Agus. Yeah. Kalau ada soalan lagi, kalau ada soalan tercetus dapat ilham nanti saya ni. <laughs> boleh, boleh. Terima kasih Dr. Zaimah atas komen yang membina. Uh, pada pesaran lain mungkin uh, Puan Zaleha mungkin boleh bertanya soalan ini apa-apa uh, soalan Puan Zaleha sebab tadi nampaknya Puan Zaleha sangat berminat untuk mengetahui dengan lebih mendalam. Uh, memang berminat <laughs> tak hmm. tapi bila dia sebut yang pertama apa tu bila slide yang selepas terusnya lupa dah apa dia cakap <laughs> uh, dia kena duduk berguru pada depan insyaallah nanti kat lihat datang ah, pada tadi ya yeah, uh, yeah, nanti boleh ajak kat lihat insyaallah it's uh. a very good memang kat lihat very interested in this uh, insyaallah okay insya terima kasih Dr Izati hmm. sama Dr. Zati, uh, yeah. it means that the stability, the stability is measured from the RD number. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, as uh, from the graph, as the curve getting higher, so it means that it is stable. Uh, it's yes, it's much, much stable. stable. It's much, yes. it's much stable. Yes. So it's, mm -hmm. it's based on RD numbers. Yeah. Only. Okay. Tapi Dr. Zati, uh, um, do you uh, show to us about Show us about the stability step tu tadi. Ada ada kita tunjuk tadi. Ah uh, yang yang mana satu tu ya eh, doktor? No, stability. Ah uh, how do you check the stability uh, in terms of methodology? Your methodology? Oh, okay, and saya kerja saya tunjuk. Lupa dah. Cepat sangat slide. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dia 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 slide tu ah uh, yang nombor berapa ni uh, doktor Siti je eh? Awal-awal kot eh. Uh -uh. Tapi uh, instead uh, from Bapak the suri. graph, from the graph, the stability is measured from the RD number solely. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, okay. That one. Okay, sekejap, sekejap. Saya rasa yang uh, ini. Dekat sini eh? Yang saya conteng ni. Uh, okay, this one, okay. Uh, it's uh, make me clear when you sketch and when you uh -huh. go with further explanation. And about your methodology, hmm. how do you, what's the steps? Mm, okay. The stability. Okay, wait. And the Which stability. For this, okay, this is the methodology. Means to check the stability, mm -hmm. you use uh, the Galatine technique. Is it? Uh, no, no. Kita check uh, semua ni hmm. adalah untuk uh, to find to get the ODE and then the, untuk check stability tu bila kita start masuk dalam maple. Dalam maple we will find our RD. Uh, so right here kita akan dapat uh, check stability of the system by uh, varying the parameters values uh, accordingly lah. Is there a methodology involved um, yeah, in terms of yeah. like the steps? Uh. Oh okay, maple programming. Maple programming uh, kita just uh, substitute dekat dalam maple tu. Uh, nama matrix matrix tadi. Ah uh, okay sini. Oh this one. Okay. Okay. Slide 14 atau 15? Entahlah. Untuk check stability <laughs> ni. Ni kena check. Um, check stability. Um. Uh, dia dia belum uh, uh, until here uh, belum lagi kita start untuk check stability until here kita nak extract kita nak dapatkan the RD um, okay RD RD yang ni lah so dekat sini kita belum lagi check stability oh you mean by linear stability analysis tu uh, ya yeah, doktor 
Yang ni kan? Hmm. Ah, linear. Ah, ah, ah. Linear. Linear severity analysis. Ha, okay. Oh, okay, oh okay, so dekat okay. sini nama je sahaja linear stability analysis tapi kita akan adakan proses non-dimensionalized dulu kemudian baru kita buat superimpose perturbation. Okay, kedua-dua step ni kita akan substitute dekat dalam um, ikut steps lah. 194 tu lah. 194, yes. Substitute guna ni. So sebenarnya bila kita kembangkan balik RM, RD, RN, uh, Taylor ni semua bila kita kembangkan kita akan dapat balik elemen-elemen yang ada dekat sini. Mm. Ah macam tu. As well as the as well as the boundary conditions nak kau edit tak? Ah yes, as well as boundary condition. Ah uh, itu untuk linear stability analysis. Hmm, okay okay. Uh, okay okay Dr. Kuzaima. Hmm insya-Allah okey kena okay. bergurau lagi juga ni. Uh, <laughs> okey terima kasih Dr. Zati. Ah uh, uh, sama. Uh. Alright. So the nano fit that you use apa Dr? Uh, sorry? Sorry, sorry. T thank you. Dia tiba tanya soalan. The nano free uh, that you use because just now uh, in, ada in early presentation you uh -huh. mentioned about nano fluid. What uh, kind of nano uh -huh. fluid that you use here? Saya just guna uh, regular uh, nano fluid. Tak ada specific um, alumina ke ataupun copper ke. Tak ada just uh, kan kan ada researchers kan yang dia buat uh, regular, regu dia, dia cakap regular uh, nano fluids. Maksudnya ni dia just dapat daripada theoretical investigation dia je lah. Okay ada yang ada specific dia letak uh, nano fluid yang dia nak guna tu uh, alumina yang ni kan. Lepas tu ada dia nak guna hmm. copper, dia nak guna alumina. So saya tak guna yang part ni. Yang ini dia akan um, dapat um, lain sikit dia punya uh, result lah. Uh, so saya guna regular yang biasanya dibuat oleh uh, ada beberapa researchers lah. Contoh macam Neil ni uh, and then Yadav. Uh, saya no, just guna regular. Uh, regular nano fluids. Okay terima kasih doktor. Uh, sama doktor. Terima kasih doktor Zaima di atas soalan yang sangat baik tadi. Ada lagi soalan? Yeah, kita masih kasih. ada lebih kurang tiga minit. Mungkin yang lain kalau nak bertanya, sila bertanya. Kita masih ada lagi masa, boleh bertanya. Okeylah kalau tak ada, uh, bidang saya sebenarnya bidang numerical. Uh, tapi teringin juga nak tahu bidang ni. Uh, Dr. Izzati, apa tu uh, benda ni kalau kita di dalam industri, macam mana kita nak apply dia Dr. Izzati? How, how you want to apply this uh, this research to our industry? Maybe you can you have an opinion? Ah, okay, actually uh, usually they use this uh, in drug delivery, okay, for medics in medics, in medics field. Uh, drug delivery, uh, drug de uh, delivery using nanoparticles, okay, uh, dia masukkan dalam um, the blood vessel and then that nanoparticles will attack the the um, the cancer, cancer cells. Some, uh, itulah yang ada yang beberapa yang saya baca lah. Um, and then uh, contoh macam kita uh, biasanya dalam uh, sistem banyak engineering field lah yang menggunakan biasanya oil and gas macam mana kita nak uh, contoh kalau uh, nak stabilkan sistem. Let's say we have an oil, we want to make that oil tu uh, lambat lambat untuk uh, berlaku convection. Jadi kita akan letak elemen-elemen um, yang boleh melambatkan uh, dan menstabilkan sistem itu. Uh, macam itulah contohnya. Baik, ada soalan uh, lain daripada mana-mana, uh, sama daripada Syalam ataupun daripada Cawangan. Untuk pengetahuan semua, uh, kolokim ni dipancarkan ke seluruh negara eh. Uh, banyak Cawangan di seluruh negara uh, uh, mengikuti kolokim ini uh, melalui saluran YouTube. Jadi kalau ada soalan daripada cawangan, uh, mohon uh, uh, berkomunikasi di dalam uh, chatting box. AJK bertugas akan um, uh, memberikan soalan itu kepada saya dan saya akan uh, bertanyakan soalan kepada pementang. Okey, nampaknya uh, kita ada lagi uh, uh, soalan daripada uh, para hadirin. 
Jadi saya mengucapkan ribuan terima kasih kepada Dr. Izzati Halidah kerana membentangkan uh, uh, research beliau di dalam kolokium pada petang ini. Jadi kita tangguhkan kolokium uh, kali ini dengan surah Al-As dan Tasbih Kafarah. <tuh>